here's where we are, folks, and this is the way it is, and we're, we're not being punished, and we're no worse than anybody else, they'll buy it. That's all. Well, Mike, one of the things that I think is important is that we've always kept our rates low, mm -hmm. and now we're, and, and, and in the sure. last 10 years, over and over, we've been told yeah. that if we don't start to do some increases, mm -hmm. we're going to have, and they talked about forest growth mm -hmm. in some of those places, 100% oh, yeah. increase in their water sewer bills. And so some of that's catching us right now, but at the same time, I hope we can look in and put that message to, those, to the rate payers that yeah. they've had low rates or low too long. You have, you have not run enough money to pay for what you got. Now you're getting wise and you're doing over a four or five year period. Some will have to believe that, some will, but at least it's plenty to. I think it's plenty to. Well, and that's what I say about this. So you say 13 and a half or 14 and a half, is it $2 or is it? Yeah. $27. It all adds, you know, it all comes to fruition. Other members of the public? <clears throat> yes. Don Bolton, uh, 32934 Southeast 20th Street. And I just thought I'd come and reiterate a comment. I would really, I feel we're in the crisis, and I talked to you folks last week about taking concerns about uh, labor negotiations. And I'm sure that we have some kind of an economic crisis situation. But when I look at your budget, I can very easily figure that there is at least $30 million in there that's labor. There's probably more than that. And if you take 2.5% uh, of $20 million, I don't have to tell you the numbers, that's a half a million dollars. And that's what I understand you're looking for. Uh, the other thing, and maybe it's minor, but I noticed here tonight in the contract they wanted 5% for a labor increase and 7% for benefits. And by the way, the cost of living through Social Security has been flat for two years. So I don't know how the city or anyone could at this point justify a cost of living increase. Uh, the next thing I wanted to mention, and you know, I was here and talked about Project 14 and the impact it was having on business. And I feel that you're trying to get a meeting with the state of Washington. One of the things I did want to tell you is there's some concern, is this your problem or not? I met a lot of business people. One man invested seven to eight million dollars in a hotel. You probably know where it is. And he'll come and testify, if he saw the plan on Highway 14, he would have never made the investment. So I don't think there's any question that what's happening on that project is going to have an impact on your business. The last thing is, a couple of months ago, I promised you people to think about a good mission statement of what your job is. Not what the city is, just what is the job of the council and how you're supposed to work together? What is your mission? And I keep coming every week hoping someday I'm going to hear something about that. So that's still my challenge. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bowen. Any other members of the public? Is it just on the water? Any subjects? reader, but uh, dear Mayor Guard and City Council members, as the City of Washington will once again face its challenges and tough decisions during the budgeting process, it is my understanding that the Washington City Council is considering a proposal that would significantly reduce the funding for the West Columbia Gorge Humane Society, in parentheses the acronym WCGHS. 
I certainly understand the need for municipalities to reduce expenditures and cut programs in our current economic climate. However, I would like to encourage the Washougal City Council to continue the city's funding of the West Columbia Gorge at current levels. I strongly believe that the WCGHS is an asset to the citizens and animals of Washougal and Camas, and I know that they work hard to provide and maintain a local refuge for lost and unwanted cats and dogs. Not only does city funding enable the WCGHS to help hundreds of cats find new homes each year, but the presence and function of the WCGHS is also a valuable resource for many of the pit bulls, or to be as in quotes, bully breeds in our communities. These dogs can be very difficult to place, and our organization is always appreciative of any animal welfare entity that can help share some of the burden that is caused by the frequent intake of these animals at our shelter. As such, we value the dedication demonstrated by the WCGHS to these common and highly misunderstood dogs. Their organization provides a significant benefit to the Camas Washougal community and helps us better serve our community as well. I would be happy to discuss this matter further with you and answer any questions you may have. Please feel free to contact me by phone or email at your convenience. With best regards, Chuck Tortwell. And he said he'd send us snail mail copy. Thank you, Thank you very much. You bet. Any other members of the public? Hi, I'm Diane Alderman, West Columbia North Humane Society. Um, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. And I'm not good at public speaking, so I'm just going to read a few things. Um, the $25,000 that we've re received for the past couple of years has been what we consider a contract with the city to help with um, caring for the animal control dogs. And um, my question would be, and it certainly doesn't need to be answered tonight, but if we lose the $25,000 and it's reduced to $4,000, is that still considered a contract or is that then considered a donation or public assistance? Um, this was stated. Um, we understand belt tightening, but we don't understand the term hit. That's how I feel it's going to be. And um, what, what happens to the animal control dogs? Will they be going directly to South of Washington or will they still be cared for at the kennels, which um, the city is kind enough to share those kennels with us. So if we lose that money, will we lose the, um, the kennel? And it's stated about the bully breeds. And do you know how much South of Washington and Hames Society will charge you for each dog that you take to them? Um, they do charge per kennel animal control. And um, we'd be interested to know if there's any way that we as an organization that can work with animal control to maybe try to get increased um, licensing rates and then spay and neutering. And I just want to point out again through every other um, presentation that West Columbia Gorge Humane Society is a community organization. Thank you. Thank you very much. A couple, couple of answers for you because I want to make sure that the most information is out there that's accurate. <clears throat> the, the proposed budget that I've put forward to the council does take into consideration the uh, West Columbia Gorge Humane Society still maintaining the impounded dogs and the revenue that comes from that. So uh, in answer to your question, would the dogs be going directly to Southwest Washington? No, they would still be housed here and we would still look to maintain a relationship with you from that standpoint. Um, there was another question in there I was going to answer. Now I can't remember which one it was. The kennels. About the kennels. The kennels are still intact. Can I ask one question to that answer? Um, <coughs> if the dogs went to us, 